Hello, everybody. Today, I am going to talk to you about my failed attempt to pass the network specialty exam from AWS. I did this two years ago. Uh, so you have to take this uh, with a little bit of grain of salt. Maybe things have changed. I don't know. Uh, but I will tell you my experience anyway, anyhow. So before I took the exam, I was practicing with Wiz Labs and I was getting 85%. Yet on the test, I only got 48%. I like QuizLabs a lot. Uh, I passed uh, my architect and my security exam using their, their tests. Uh, so I definitely like them, but for this particular one, it was not the same. So just a caveat for you folks. Uh, in the exam, there were 65 questions. It took me two hours and five minutes. Uh, majority of the questions was five choices and you had to pick one. About 20%, you had to choose two out of five. Another 20%, you have to choose two out of five or six. You know, those are a little bit harder. Um, I, I did have two, about two questions where you had to choose three um, out of six. Those are really painful. Uh, the length of the question. So uh, the, um, maybe five to seven sentences long scenarios. So they're scenarios, but they're not like hugely complicated scenario. Um, some of them were, 20% like of them were shorter than that, maybe four sentences. So you can see it's a pretty, pretty simple scenario. Um, twenty percent were longer than these, so there were twenty percent questions that are real kind of complicated scenario questions that were kind of hard. Uh, they were they were hard. Um, overall feel, um, I felt about the same level of difficulty as the security exam, but security exam I passed with flying colors. This one horrible. I only got forty eight percent. I don't know if that's a percentage of how many questions I had right, or was it was it um um some kind of curving or something but anyway i got 48 percent, so i wasn't that good um now topics wise um man 60 to 70 percent of the questions either touch direct connect vpg vif or vpn it was just all over the place over and over and over again questions were coming about these four topics and some of them first collided with each other the combinations of those for course, if I had to do, do it all over again, um, I would use this course from Stefan Marek. Uh, in Udemy, it has 3,000 reviews, really good, like 4.7 or something. So I would use that one. For practice exams, um, I would use this one on Udemy from Salma Kabir. By the way, I'm not associated with either of these folks. This is just what I've, I've researched. Uh, she has uh, 375 questions and 4.9 reviews. Now, albeit uh, only 26 reviews. So Hopefully those reviews continue to be that good. Uh, but the other exams that I practice exams that I saw on Udemy for this exam, they were too few questions, like 80 questions. That's not going to do it. For, that's not going to be enough for you to practice. So anyway, I hope you found this um, tip session about this exam useful. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe. That helped me with the YouTube algorithm. And I will see you in the next video.